Hello, 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 hello. How's everyone doing? Hey, listen. Hi, listen. So, which is this? 46. 46. <laughs> hey, Atsuki, how's it going? Hello. Algani, Algani. How are you? Hey, little ribbon, Isra. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> yesterday there was a scheduled power out for repairs. Hence my absence. I did, though, sit and draw some on on paper, but but it is what it is. Hey, Concept Sam, how's it going? So today I will be doing <laughs> Israel. Yeah, I would have wanted to though, but I I made a post about it on the Discord saying oh, I can't make it. Um, but obviously I couldn't go on to Twitch as, as I was at home. Uh, but that's a rare occur occurrence rather than uh, regular. So today I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. Hey, a voodoo breakfast, how's it going? Tormod. How's it going? How's it going, Tormod? Okay, so today I'll be doing a monster. Um, I've set a new two-week challenge, by the way. It's available on the Discord. Oh, your vacation is over. Hey, Zix Nano. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, so the new two-week challenge is based on... You guys have to think about edges and color. And I'll be doing a monster at, on the warm-up. Um, without further ado, we'll start the warm-up. Uh, I'm not going to be calling for... Um, uh, a topic. The, the workshop demo is getting close, so I just kind of want to... Um, what? <sighs> Atsuki. Yeah, there we go. You see? You gotta remove those weak spots, strengthen yourself, so you will be a hardened art warrior. <laughs> um, anyways. Oh, yeah. oh Tormod. Well, thank you very much for the Prime, man. The Twitch Prime subscription. It's free stuff right there. As in, Twitch Prime is free, right? You get once a month. Uh, a free subscription, right? That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah! <laughs> gang signs! Oh, and the secret gang signs, gang signs that you don't, guys don't have yet. It's the cosmic banana. Or rent the banana. Hey, Bruno Romanos, how's it going? Those gang signs. Fly them! Fly them, take over the world like pirates. Yeah, it's it's a free. Cheers for that, Tormo. But you get it, <coughs> you get it from uh, like from a subscription type type stuff, right? You you subscribe to some service and videos, if I'm not mistaken. And you get, they throw in like a prime subscription for free within that bundle, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, prime video. What, uh, tell us about prime video. What does it do? What, how is it? Um, what does it do? And uh, as I was, uh, on another topic, as I was starting to, to rant about, uh, it's about that the demo time is coming. Uh, it's coming uh, up. 
uh, I'm going to be doing a demo at uh, Industry Workshops. It's Netflix. All right. Um, and what do you think is best? Do three sketches and choose one. I don't know, first of all, how long I'm going to be doing the, the demo. If I have a lot of time, I think I'll do three sketches. But it also then is like, I'm going to do, if I'm just going to do one sketch. Um, it's got to have to be a good one, <laughs> you know. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Like he has an open rib cage. Let's let's go with that. I mean, I, the demo is about monsters. Classic monster stuff. Hey, Six Nano. Nah, I'm not painting fast, man. Well, it's four minutes in and I have a base only, but... Hey, Kurus. Thank you very much for the outer host. Chromecast. Hmm. Hey, Kilrathi. The topic is monster. Uh, again. Uh, because I said that the, the demo is coming up. And I need to, uh, I need to uh, be in the zone. You know, I don't want to be like doing a demo on a workshop and then be like, Photoshop. What is it? Monsters? What technique? Which? What? What should I? Sh what should I use? I'll show you a fun little thing. Um. That I I don't know if I showed you guys, but let's say I'm making this pattern right, like that, and uh, I'm just gonna block some basic, a uh, little bit of value in there so it's not just a block, and if you have it like that. And then you duplicate and you take free transform and uh, you rotate it and scale it and then press enter. Then if you duplicate it and where was the shortcut? Uh, Shift control T. So you do control J for duplicate, shift control T to repeat the last transform. And you 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 repeat a transformation so you can get um, really interesting like results of patterns that way. Uh, in a really like efficient way. Hey Mila, how's it going? Oh, praise Queen Mila has arrived. Uh, Algani, um, no, I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, what if I hit my head? Yeah, so that's a really, um, it's a nice way to get patterns. And then when you have a pattern like this, for example, that you, you like. Um, so then if I would copy it, transform it like that. And then rotate it like that much. So if I would do that and do that again, you see it, it, it skews it to the same degree and rotates it at the same degree. So you can easily destroy your pattern as well. You know, by um, <laughs> originally originally skewing it or tra transforming it too much. 
so that the transformation is just warping the um, this this stuff you know Kilrathi. All oh, right. Well, maybe there is a function like that. Um, who knows? If you have a shortcut for transform again, anything that you can do again, uh, you can do that with. So you can kind of try to come up with uh, ideas of how you can do an effect. Um, like multiple times and get some sort of pattern through it. I mean, like, f for example, with uh, filters or uh, yeah, filters like Gaussian blur or things like that. You can also there is also uh, last filter up there. You can do the same. Oh, you can't see it. It's behind. But at the, at the top of filter menu, there is uh, do it again. Uh, last action kind of thing but the only thing only reason why it's cool with uh, transform is because you can choose it specifically and it'll, it'll do the transformation uh, again which can make you do patterns and it's a little bit harder with the uh, filters but I don't know what kind of monster I should be doing at the demo though. Like, what do you think would be better? More creature? You know, so there's personality involved? Or more monster where it's more like an animal? What do you, what do you guys think is the better? Maybe character, like a creature is, is better than monster, right? But I think gut reaction, a monster is, is nice, but it doesn't have that much impact. Uh, uh, a creature is cool to do, you know, where you, you like a Yoda <laughs> of sorts, you know, uh, but It might require more work. So we, so you guys are saying more creature, yeah. So this one I'm drawing now is obviously just a monster. You know, it doesn't have any intelligence. It's just a basic creature, you know, or uh, monster. Uh, Lurib, well, if I'm showcasing the technique, the technique is, is not the, the thing I'm demoing, right? It's not like, come and watch Bjorn's difference, difference in techniques, right? It's come and uh, look at me doing uh, creature designs or monster designs uh, on the demo stage, you know. So it's really, it doesn't really matter what kind of technique, but I just thought I want to show this technique because it's a, it's a cool technique, right? It's a, it's a, has a great, uh, you can sketch up something rather fast with it and it's nice to do and not everyone do the same way, right? So the question is, second question is, should I do it like this, like a you know where I meet the value in the middle, or should I do lights like light only technique, which is uh, is slightly different. Um, of course, I don't have it 
you're ready. Let me dig it out for you. An example. So the... light only technique would be more like this right where where i have a darker background and i paint in in the light so the light defines the form more than uh the other way around like this you know it becomes a lot more atmospheric and subtle and brush strokes i mean that could be cool <clears throat> I think it bet it's better actually, because you can get a more illustration thing down faster, and it might be more interesting to look at or like have more impact on people rather than like production design. <sighs> Mila, yeah, I should do like a little bit of a vlog. I think that would be cool. Hello, sir. How's your how, how's your day today, sir? <laughs> uh. Concept Sam, right? Well, the thing is, on the on the demo stage, I will, I will, if I if I start answering questions, you know, first of all, it's not like a lecture, right? Um. But I don't mind answering questions. But if I sit and answer questions all the time, the demo is not going to end up good. You know, it's going to be informative for the people, but it's also not the lecture, right? The demo is check Bjorn do monsters. So I think, uh, I think the the best solution would be probably be to, like, really not answer questions during the demo. But after, I don't know. I don't want to like uh, divert my attention away from like the fact that uh, I'm there to do a demo, not to teach. In that sense, you know, like a lecture. I'm not a lecturer at the workshop. Uh, Mila, I was actually thinking about that I should do at least like record on my phone the experience and then upload afterwards. Lurib, yeah, I mean, when the values meet in the middle, this technique I'm using now, you you get something down really fast and it's great for production, right? It's a very production oriented technique. Uh, the lights only is very great for illustration basis and you can get a monster down quick in that way yeah. a voodoo breakfast I don't know um, I should actually ask how much time I have, but usually it's like, oh, oh, just sit and do something. Um, but I haven't been there in two years, so I don't know, like, their setup, how their setup is now. I think the light only technique is very uncommon. And I think it might have more of a wow factor in terms of how rapidly you can create an image, you know, like illustration. And what what happens with that it, it tends to make the design more secondary and the mood uh, primary, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing is just like what's the how do i want to portray myself in that sense Pro production or illus illustration 
I don't know. A voodoo breakfast. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. But um, in my experience, answering questions is that the next guy also asks questions. And then they pull up a chair. And all of a sudden it becomes a class. <clears throat> Which is, you know. When you when you hear that chair move next to you, you go, "All right, here we go, here we go." Q Q questions. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but the demo is not going to look cool. <laughs> That's the downside. The a lot of time is going to go to answering questions and you break your um, uh, implicit mind state as you know like immerse immersion in the process and you as soon as you start answering question you're not in the sweet sweet zone you know you're not uh, you're not being creative you're in teaching mode or unconscious recall and all that so that's like the the downside of it um, I don't mind it to you know to be to be fair but because I'm there to demo I'm thinking probably best to do the demo as a primary thing I can always hold a lesson uh, not while doing a demo Maybe I should just politely say, catch me after the demo, I can talk you through it. Maybe maybe that would be the p most polite way of solving the... And then to signal people not to talk to me while painting too much, uh, put headphones on maybe and blast some, some good tunes so that they go, like, he's in the, he's in the zone, he, he doesn't, you don't need to speak to him at the moment. Eric, yeah, it's true. It's true. I could do it like, um, but as it's, as it's not like a lecture. It's a demo. Okay, if I would be doing a lecture in in, in design, you know, then of course you should be answering questions. Naturally. I don't know. You know what? For the sake of experiment, tomorrow I'll be doing lights only uh, monster sketch. And we can judge um, which one is... Uh, we can judge much, much clearer which one uh, potentially I should use, which approach. There are some issues with how the light is being read on this monster. I need to sort that out. It's like a little bit sporadic and lumpy. Isra, <laughs> yeah, it's a business card with my Twitch, Twitch on. Concept Sam, no, I've been, um, I, I was teaching at CGMA for four years, the CG Master Academy, as it's called now. Um, I've done two lectures at industry workshops. 
I've done three lectures at IFCC. I've done three lectures locally here. Uh, thousands of portfolio reviews. <laughs> interviews etc etc on tv so i'm not i've i've practiced away the nerves but but to be fair every time i do go on stage there's nerves involved you can't hide from it so what i've resorted in doing is just having a beer before uh, so you like loosen loosen up a little bit so you're just not nerves yeah. but nerves are always there bear yeah it's good stuff Yeah, I should tell people to do one with me. It's a good idea. What's nice with this technique of like painting in and meeting in the middle value wise is that you have the creature isolated but not filled that's the only draw drawback um, so it has transparency within the body because i'm using the value range of the uh, background as a cr cr uh, crutch or a shortcut But it's it's fun. This looks like um, an ant eater, an eater, ant eater gone monster with a messed up mandible rib cage. Like. If this would be the demo, like I could easily just spend time now, uh, like rendering it up or or painting it up, but it would then be just it would be to the mercy of whatever I have sketched up at the point, you know. Like I know that a lot of demo artists, they practice what they're gonna draw beforehand. You know, so it's not improvisation. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, now for the like they check out their their notes. You know, what should I draw now? Yeah, right. That was the the helmet should be this shape. It should be placed over here. They know exactly what they what they should paint because they've already practiced it. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's anything bad or negative, but a part of what I love about doing uh, demos and doing them like I'm doing the streams, just imp pure improvisation, is that for me personally, I have no idea what's coming out. And that can work against me or, f or for me. <laughs> you know, like. I need to design something good or I'm or, or, or I'm screwed you know and when you're designing something off the top of your head you know you, you really gotta <laughs> make sure that you're doing something that's valid to look at hey one Amir how's it going
a voodoo breakfast. Sure, that that sounds a bit like it could come off as a negative thing, but you also know exactly what to paint, and you can practice painting it. You can do research. Um, it would be the equivalent of painting for a project, and you are not designing um, monster number one, right? You're designing monster number 32. And you're already warmed up, you know the shape language, you know what's uh, like, you know what's required of you in terms of style, in terms of shapes. So in a way, painting the same thing over and over and then doing it at the demo You know, it's a it's a valid thing to do, right? It's, I'm not shitting on it at all, um, but for me, it doesn't come across as that exciting as a challenge for me. I'd rather almost do like a thirty minute warm up uh, pre pre timer uh, topic suggestion. <laughs> But if I do that, it's always some a-hole going, uh, uh, my little pony on fire. And then you go, oh, I should do a my little pony on fire monster. Oh, Jess, thanks for that. So you are then at the mercy of some, some butthole there, thinking he's funny. Like some of you on the uh, on the warm up topic suggestions, like super cheesy, fucking awful, awful suggestions. But as it's not demo at the workshop, I don't mind. You know, I don't mind trying my hand at it. So I just I'm I'm fine with whatever you guys suggest, and I'll do it on the stream. You know, but. There's dangers of doing that at the at the workshop. <laughs> Banana guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like you go out leave they're like but leave <laughs> Captain Jet like why do you think that hmm <laughs> it's all good man Well, that, that's that's one of the reasons why I don't think it's a good idea to ask for their suggestions uh, <laughs> pre-stream or pre-demo. It's like, oh yeah, and then you get some shitty suggestion, and then you have to do it, and then it's all like a lukewarm attempt at it. You know? But it would also be nice. Um, Like the improvisation aspect of right. sketching is is really fun. Hey, polygraph, how's it going? A veal coming, a veal coming. There's some messed up fingers right there. I need to add them. Anyways, this is the monster how it turned out today. Um, I'd say mixed bag in, in how I, how I like it. Um, it's a good practice though. And, um, tomorrow I will be doing a light only creature design. 
and we'll see how that goes. Um, it's going to be interesting, personally, actually. I haven't done that light only for monsters in quite some time. Um, Zealid, yeah. Yeah, like a stand, like a, what are they called? A uh, uh, plant, or whatever they called in magic. Um, that would be funny. Superheroes. I'm glad you guys liked it. So tomorrow we're going to be doing another monster, but we're going to switch up the technique. Uh, let's have a look at what this person is doing. I'm not interested. You? Oh, that's this looks pretty cool. All right, let's um, let's raid. Um, for those who don't know, raid. You just need to click up top, and uh, when the timer reach, re reaches the bottom, you'll be automatically joining together with everyone else at the same time um, to the stream. Uh, the one we're rating. We're rating John Silva. Uh, he's a variety streamer nowadays, but currently he's painting a commission, which looked really cool. Um, so thanks everyone for joining in. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing a monster, but switching the technique up a bit, and then we can discuss it on Friday, which is the... Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. See you on Discord.